Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Explode Your Expert Business Show. And today I'm here with the one and only Matt Soltis. How you doing, Matt? Hello. How Good you doing? To be here. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to this conversation, Simone. I think we always share a lot of energy when we have a conversation. So I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, every time we are together, is like there is always gold. There's always gold coming out. So guys, get ready because we are going to really dive deep into how Matt really launches his upgraded life brand using live events. And uh, it, Matt's story is incredible. You will see, you will hear a lot of the behind the scene of the things that it did to make this happen. So before we get into that, Matt, just tell us a bit more about you, about your background, so um, everyone can get a bit more familiar with you. Yeah, for sure. So uh, thanks. Thanks, Simone, for the intro. Myself, I mean, uh, I'm, I started out at my career as a graduate in the city of London. And about three years ago now, in fact, it was May 2017, I went full time into my own business, Thrive Assets. Right. And that's when I decided to really heavily get involved in the real estate space, which had been a long time passion for me. I, I really wanted to go on that journey through the city to learn all about investing, all about money, yeah. all about how to really create my own business and start investing in other businesses too, uh, within the firms that I worked with. Yeah. And that really spearheaded my move into the real estate space. But you know, for the for the first couple of years where I was really, this is what happens in business, you, you run at it full pal, you think <laughs> you're gonna crush everything and then you start <laughs> failing forwards. And that's when really the process of learning and growing just starts to begin, right? Yeah. Um, which I know we can all relate to and no doubt people viewing this today will be able to relate to as well. But I always realized that I wanted to tap into more. And so back in November 2018, I brought Grant Cardone over to the UK uh, with partners and we held a series of events in London, Cardiff and Glasgow. Yeah, uh, Grant, Grant was someone who I'd learned from for a long period of time. And then uh, obviously we were fortunate to meet Simone not too long after that. Uh, back in March, I believe it was last year, 2019. Yeah. So yeah. it's been an exciting yeah. journey since then. It, it has been a really exciting journey since uh, since we met and we started working together. But I remember right before we started working together, you already did this large event uh, with uh, with Grant Cardone, and that gave you like a huge boost on uh, on your profile and the things that you were doing, and in particular um, how people were seeing you there in that space I, I wanted to ask you like how was it to work uh, so closely with uh, with Grant Cardone what were the, the things that you got from it not just from what you learned from the stage but from what you learned by observing by working that closely with him for sure I mean I think one of the first one of the first questions that most frequent questions I get around this is how did how did I make it happen and I really I suppose for me that was all about having the dream when I was in the city, I had the dream. I found, I started getting involved in my personal development journey and I found Grant and his material. And I just immersed myself, immersed myself in his message and really embodied it for what it was and started to implement it in my life and got results. So I made the decision, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but before Grant came over, I mean, I made the decision I was going to do this about five years previously to it actually happening. I didn't know that. Yeah, it was about 2013, 2014 when I first found his material. Right. It was a lot smaller back then. Uh, I don't really know anyone else in the UK who knew of Grant back then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but so if anyone thinks that uh -huh. things happen overnight in business, I mean, yeah, that's that took about five years in the making wow. uh, to make that whole thing come together. And that's why I was so focused on making it happening and persisting all the way through the, the negotiation. So working with them, I mean... It was awesome, awesome experience because you just learn the human behavior and the ethos of a business leader like Grant. I just, there's no real education like it. Yeah. You know, proximity is really power. And it taught me immensely just how powerful your network is when you start to open the doors in, yeah. in relationships. And one of the biggest things I found was flow power to power figure out a way to be of service to other people. I mean, for Grant, he wanted to expand in the UK. Yeah. And really, this was the platform that allowed him to do that. And since then, he's been over here twice and, and ran other events with other yeah. promoters uh, off the back of that that have done fantastic and really broadened his, re his reach. So uh, the big lesson I got out of that is that it doesn't matter how far ahead of you somebody else is. They've mm -hmm. always got a problem. 
and a problem that we can solve in some way, shape, or form if we just position ourselves correctly. Uh, now, this is a this is such a good uh, this is such a good point because there are some people that was will look at other influencers or people that they really admire that they want to be with, but they think, oh, yeah. but who am I to approach them? Who am I to talk to them? Who am I to be with them? Uh, what what if you reframe it is like what can I do that can help them? That changes the entire conversation. Now there is not that oh they are there and I'm here, but there is this what can I do to help them like you would do to help someone else? Absolutely. Right? Someone who has millions of followers or someone who doesn't have any followers. <laughs> Exactly. And I know that this is what you're great at as well, Simone, is why I feel we connected so strongly in the first place, because I know how you've helped other influencers and top brand professionals in the personal development business, entrepreneur, online business space, how you've helped people grow. And, and I've seen that, you know, I've witnessed you from afar before we first met. And I think that's why we connected so well when we did finally meet and started, started working together. It's so true. It's the hand that gives the most receives the most back. 100%, 100%. And so we met uh, uh, there in Cardiff uh, uh, at an event. And um, then uh, you at the time wanted to start uh, and to launch uh, the Upgrade a Life brand, yeah. um, which was uh, a separate brand uh, compared to like your real investment part, which is Thrive Assets. And um, uh, so what were um, some of the things uh, that we did actually was to launch it with events. So let's talk about a bit more about that launch process. How was the journey for you like from the beginning? Uh, and then we can go a bit more the specifics on what we what elements we put in place to make it work. Perfect. So I mean, I think the big thing for me was when we met Simone, I, I was having that bit of momentum. You know, a little bit of momentum. I'd obviously done the events with Grant. I I was keen yeah. to do more events. I was hosting some of my own smaller community meetups and that sort of thing. Uh, but for me, I wanted a tangible place to take people and to really connect with that community that I wanted to be a part of. And this is the thing, you see, I, I was looking around trying to find the right entrepreneur community for me to be a part of, yeah. for me to join and for me to really grow around other like-minded professionals and conscious entrepreneurs ready to think big and really to play at a whole nother level, you know, be a professional established person in their space and someone who's really leading by example through their actions. And that's what I wanted to be around. I wanted to level up with other people, but I just couldn't find the right community for me, to be honest with you. And so I decided to really just put together my own vision for what I believed at that time that yeah. community should look like and the ethos that I wanted to create. So uh, the big thing initially was focusing on the core message and the core area to position that brand. And that was conscious wealth building for entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. And then from that, it was, okay, what are our core values? What is the ethos of this brand? And how is it going to dovetail into all things Thrive Assets? And so really for me, it was a case of expanding Thrive towards yeah. a greater manifestation of my vision uh, to, to really create that lifestyle brand that changes the way in which we fundamentally live. Uh, and so whilst Thrive Assets for me is the real estate investment vehicle, a lot of people, when I did the events with Grant Cardone, they, yeah. they couldn't get there in their minds what the event promotion was all about and how it was serving my real estate brand. Yeah. You know, have you ever felt that? Maybe, maybe you launched something new and mm -hmm. the audience doesn't know what it's all about. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and especially yeah. now, I mean, in yeah. any time like this, people are changing, but it's a lot more acceptable right now because we've had COVID. It seems for people to be selling face masks or to be selling PPE or to be jumping into <laughs> something totally different. But back it's then, more, it's, more just, it's more justifiable. Yeah, so, totally. Like, but so, how did that event, uh, like, if we just like, spend one minute, uh, like, how did that event actually help your? Thrive Asset and Upgrade the Life brand, the event that you did Grant. Because some people said, well, this is a waste of time. Like you're a property Sorry. investor. Why, why is it running, is spending all this time and money and effort running this big event? Well, the first thing is a foundational le lesson sorry, that I learned from Grant. And that is that money flows to those who get the most attention yeah. in the right way. 
Yeah, uh, you can be an idiot and try and get attention, but that's probably not going to build a brand, you know. And, and so, uh, we've all done silly things in the past, no doubt. But unfortunately, there's quite a lot of that at times on social media just to get the views, the clickbait, right? We all know what we were talking about. Uh, the Lamborghinis being rented on a ridiculous lease, all the rest of it. Uh, we all see it every single day, and we we see it a mile off. But yeah. For me, it was about partnering with a guy who helped me actually go into business. I mean, when I found Grant, I, I didn't even know, I didn't really understand the path to launching my own business and to gaining most, the most important thing, gaining financial confidence. Mm -hmm. Financial confidence was how I got into business. And that's yeah. what a lot of people ask me as well is, how did you journey from the corporate sector to actually launching a business? Did mm -hmm. you save up a load of money? Did you just go and launch? Look, what I did is I just went all in and before, I just burnt the ships before I, I'd even figured out how I was going to create the cash flow to replace my income. And, you know, I was on a six figure salary plus a bonus every year in the city. At the yeah. age of 25, it was a very decent income to be on. But for me, it was never about the money. It was about the vehicle and the opportunity yeah. and where I was going long term. So for me, that whole event with Grant, it allowed me to expand my vision. Uh, a lot of people didn't really understand it, I'll be honest with you, yeah. because they were like, are you suddenly an events promoter? Are you no longer investing in real estate? Whereas if they look at what I've done the past three or four years, they'll see I've been quietly, you know, building that portfolio in the background and also, uh, you know, putting things away in the background whilst building everything else. Because I don't, you know, there's other, there's ways to raise finance by connecting to the right people without having to broadcast your whole, your whole thing on social media all the time. That's a, that's a very good point. It's, it's almost like being selective of what you put out. Uh, it's about being selective of what you put out and put out what uh, in particular helps your brand, what helps your business, uh, what helps other people and what is of value of other people. But you don't have to talk about everything you do. And sure. that's, <laughs> that, that's also one of the things that I think people forget about on social media. Um, what happens on social media is a small part of what happens actually behind the scene to make the entire ship work and uh, and work really well. So I, I want now, we decided then to launch uh, the Upgrade a Life brand. Uh, we started the first event, uh, uh, launched the mastermind. So let's look at uh, what uh, you did to put in place this launch that made the full transition, like to consolidate the Upgrade a Life brand with a product, with a service uh, to, to your community. So let's, yeah. start, let's start from there. Awesome. So going back to when we met Simone in Cardiff, I remember that I had the Lord Sugar events scheduled. So with my good friend, yeah. Yeah, my good friend Mark Wright, who, of course, I've made host at the 10X UK tour events the previous year, he invited me to go and speak at his ClimbCon events. Yeah. And really share more about real estate and my views towards the world and the whole economic system and my macro perspective too. Uh, and so... When we met, we knew that we had something in the future that was going to be exciting. It was going to be fun and it was going to be an opportunity. I was super excited when you told me, yeah. like, oh, by the way. And I mean, remember you dropping it like this. It's like, oh, by the way, I've got this event with Alan Sugar and like Mark Rudd. What? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> just talking so casually about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is, I think, you know, that, that was really, it was really exciting. But at the same time, I know how at times if if we get too much in our head and we put too much pressure on ourselves to perform right. Right. i like to play things down sometimes as well you know uh so maybe it was a little strategic on my side in, on the inside i was i was really excited uh, and it was an awesome experience with mark and and lord sugar and everyone out well piers morgan as well uh, and everyone else who was speaking uh, and i think the big thing that i found there was just how the right people will always resonate to the frequency that you put out. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I found at that event was testing some new content, which we prepared together. The initial thing when we met was, right, how can we use the ClimbCon event as a platform for tangible growth of the brand, the yes. Upgraded Life brand? And so that's really what ClimbCon became for me is it became this opportunity to share my message which was about how can we predict and see around corners, see future financial trends. And it's funny how coronavirus has suddenly, it seems accelerated a lot of things that I shared, but oh, at the time. Yeah, it was like the presentation that you gave, it was the last year at ClimbCon. 
is basically what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I was so as I I see what happens. I that's what Mark said. His <laughs> president. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. quite. It, it was funny because at the time it was obviously so disruptive talking about how I predicted over a third of jobs would be displaced uh, due to disruption from AI, robotics and new technologies coming in. And really, that's all been accelerated because of coronavirus. Yeah. Uh, whoops, I've said the word. Hopefully it doesn't affect your video. Um, but it has been accelerated <laughs> right now. So uh, for me, that whole event, that that opportunity to share and connect with a new message. Number one, it was a, I decided to be very bold. I'll be honest with you. The message was extremely bold, but what was most important was sharing my truth at the time. And so that event became a chance to connect with a new type of, of person, those who were conscious, those who were aware and wanting to seek answers behind where the future was going in business and in finance and just get the conversation going. It's not like I have all the answers. I never will, uh, yeah. but it got the conversation going with some amazing people. And then off the back of that, what we did is we decided, okay, let's set another event. Let's use this momentum. And that's the key is when you've got momentum and I've learned this myself the hard way in the past, when we've got momentum, we've got to keep on going keep going. You don't want to rest on it. You don't want to just bank the winds and then take a, take a time out, go on a holiday. In fact, this is the thing, the dichotomy of it all is that when you have your big win is when you want to go back and repeat what worked. Uh-huh. You know? Don't just sit down. There are so many people that said, oh my God, I just did this. Let me sit down and relax. I'm like, no, there are going to be moments where you would be forced to sit down and relax. Totally. Right. I think that we, we all go in cycles. There are moments where it feels like everything is happening and that's the moment to push harder. And the moments where you see that no matter how much work you put in, then things are not somehow clicking. That's probably the moment to step down a bit, to slow down, reassess and get ready for the moments where they're going to speed up. And mm. uh, I think that sometimes what people do is the opposite. When they get some wins, they slow down because they're like, oh, okay, I got my win. And then when things are bad, they speed up because now they have to catch up. Why? They sh in my opinion or my experience, they should do the opposite. Totally agreed. Totally agreed. And that's the thing is what we decided to do that time was to really use that momentum and to launch that next level of group, that community with Upgraded Life, where conscious entrepreneurs come together to strategically predict where the business opportunity is going to be and to build wealth together. And I believe, unfortunately, that there's a lot of investors out there or people who like to think they're investors, but they don't understand the bigger picture. Yeah. And one of the things that I'm all about is having that broader perspective and just questioning absolutely everything that you believe to be true. I'm always questioning myself each and every single day. And what the biggest things that I feel right now in this current market that people lack is they lack community, they lack human connection, they lack financial confidence, and they lack certainty towards where business is going. And right. so those three things are really the pillars to what I believe creates an upgraded community in this current environment. And what I've been building with Upgraded Life, we, I know we've now got over 20 people within the mastermind, people who are doing awesome things. And I'm just so pleased to have those colleagues to work alongside, because it's never about me, it's about what they achieve with me. and. They hold me to a higher standard. We hold each other to a higher standard. And it's just been incredible to see, you know, the level of results that we've been getting off the back of launching more Upgraded Life masterclasses and events last year, pre-COVID, uh, doing investor events as well in November when I had Doug Vermeer and over from Canada as my guest speaker. Uh, I did have other speakers lined up as well, international speakers to come over this year. Unfortunately, that's kind of been thrown up in the air for the moment. But we've got some bold moves to be taken, uh, hopefully, as things start to change uh, to the new normal that we're going to go to in the next few weeks. There is something I want to say to everyone who is listening right now, because uh, one of the things that made your mastermind work and made your community work is uh, the fact that you are all about the community. Uh, every time we have a conversation, I can say, uh, your question is not how I get new members. Your first question is always how do i add more value to my current members yeah it's always been a recurring theme in every conversation that we have and i'm the one saying like you know okay but let's focus on pushing it it's like no no let me add more value to my current members first 
and but that's how you also get new members and you make sure that people that are part of the community that they are part of something magical and that's what you have created so um i think that there is a lot to, to talk about the strategies on you know getting new members and launching a community um which you already said like you use events like a large event uh, to to build your position in credibility with grant then use another event to raise awareness about the community you wanted to launch and invite people to your own event and then from there we had the, the, the launch of of the community and you no know, it's like 50 percent of the people that were in that room immediately i remember they joined the mastermind because mm. what you gave them was incredible and they can see that you were showing up for them and so that's how you serve your members that's how you you get even more members so what i would love to ask you now in terms of uh, things that uh, things that are working for you now, like running your community, running your brand, what are the things, if you have to boil it down to three things that you are doing that are making the biggest impact for, uh, your, for, your, for your brand and for the members? What are those perfect. things? Thanks, Simone, and thanks for the kind words as well. I think for me, you know, I'm one of those people who builds momentum over time. Even when I started off my journey in the city, I was one of the slowest to start. And to, uh, you know, initially I was probably one of the worst on the job, but then by the end I'd accelerated and that's how I gained momentum. So the whole position with my mastermind is, look, I'm building a rock solid foundation. I don't need to, you know, push this and sell as hard as I possibly can, thankfully, because I have other lines of business too uh, that support the mastermind. It's not like I'm making most of my money right now from the online business because I'm not you know, quite, quite clearly, given that it's an early stage of the launch. But what I am building is a deep community that's really collectively creating a bold impact. And I know where the future of this community is going in terms of my ambition uh, for where I want to scale this business yeah. and how I know that more people need this community to be a part of. So for me, what's been working, um, really, a lot of people are looking for answers right now. So to anyone watching this or watching the replay, I'd, I'd, I'd say, look, ask yourself, what are the questions that my customers, my clients and my audience mm. want to ask today? Because it's totally shifted versus a few weeks back. So one of the biggest things that's really been gaining traction now is creating more and more content that's current, that's building confidence for people, and that gives that clarity of where things are going. So we've been doing a lot more master classes in terms of scheduling them with the group and yeah. having more frequent sessions as well because i believe that frequency matters now more than ever we mm. should be having more engagement with our communities uh, than ever before yeah. right now because of the current times and so we've raised the level of conversations that we're having to every single week um, you know having one-to-one -one conversations all of the time uh, just building greater intimacy with the group as a whole has been really key through these times because that's what gives people more more confidence and yeah. more conviction, I suppose, that you're the right person for them and you're ready to, to step up as a leader through this time and to be a part of a collective and, and that you really care. So that's been a big thing for me, just hopefully showing that I really care at this time and, and figuring out how can I just add so much value in terms of the things that we're building behind the scenes for the community, Simone, that I'm super excited for. How can I use this time strategically to build value long term that's not going to pay off in the next couple of months, I'll be honest with you, because yeah. it's a long term play and it takes time to create. It takes time to really build something of mastery and of, of real, real performance that's going to change the space. And that's, that's what I'm always looking to do is how can I disrupt things to a new level? Because there's so many other communities out there, but what's unique about mine? Well, I believe it's the way that people feel and the results that we're going to get and the level of game that we're going to play. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm totally with you. And, uh, you know, it, it is about playing the long game. Uh, of course, we want to have a short term results. We need that. But if the problem is that it, a lot of people, they just go after the short term results. Yeah. And, and, and they forget to take care of their clients in the best way. So what is uh, how was the response uh, from uh, from your members when you increase uh, so much in the, the support at this level like what were the comments or um they they, they what did they say yeah well some you know we have had some amazing pivots in this time so the biggest thing that i've found with my group is that 
my my you know our collective has been one of the most adaptable groups i've seen uh, mm -hmm. i don't know you know in terms of social media anyway and what i'm seeing online it's taken a lot of people by a bit of shock concern yeah. and and really a lot of victim mentality has been spreading online but for us having our group to lean on through these times it's allowed us to think strategically right where do we want to be placed for the next 5 10 20 years plus in our businesses mm. and what opportunities can we tap into right now that may take us there so people in the group have been really looking into what areas of business can they invest in how can we mm. double down on our marketing and our advertising and our promotion at this time yeah. and so there's been a lot of active engagement on social media video content which we believe hugely in as being the new norm for content creation and connection online um, and really now we've all got to build this media brand that supports the businesses that we're all building online and it's become more apparent now than ever before for all of us so we've really been diving deeper into the content side of things yeah. and how we're being creative and the biggest thing though which i believe disrupts the space is the level of value that we're adding together as a collective online because value added follow up is has been our obsession how can we add more value than everybody else within our space because we're not only creating our own niche we're then creating more valuable content within that niche than anybody else and that's really been working for people and i think the other thing though is preparing for the financial and economic storm which is about to happen um, mm. because it's unbelievable in my eyes just how much deception there is in the markets right now and yeah. what the wider impact of covid and the lockdown is really going to be for business owners too so strength of connections has been key financial confidence as well and the ability to pivot to adapt and to adjust to change with an upgraded mindset it's been huge for people uh you know what i want to do another interview with you um in the next few days uh, uh let's let's book another one because i want your predictions for the financial markets and where they're going uh there, there are very few people that i listen to on these things you're one of them <laughs> <laughs> I everything that Matt says is good stuff. So <laughs> I would love exactly. to do that. I would love to do just another one specific on this topic. Uh, and as you mentioned, what really works is I really giving there, giving a lot of value, and be present for the community, be present for people on social media, be present uh, for people uh, personally as well. Like I've yeah. never done as well as many phone calls with some members that are part of our different group programs that don't have one-to-one -one access uh, every now and then I'll say hey okay let's jump on a call let me help you out and uh, you know people see those things but yeah. these are I love you talking about this because you know what people see is all the marketing the sales the funnels the webinars uh, unless someone is part of that community uh, or and even people that are part of the community they might not really be aware about the work that you're doing no. They see that there are stuff popping up, they see that they have more support, but they don't see your thought process. Of course. Well, just to, sorry to interrupt you, Simone, just one thing on that that you said about what people see. Well, yeah, one of the things I've done is I did Business Oxygen, which was my launch to help people get through the current times and generate cash flow through these, this uncertainty. So I did 50 sessions in a row. It's supposed to be five minute sessions and they ended up being 20 minutes to 30 minutes each mm. uh, because people kept asking questions engaging and wanting more answers so that's been really powerful within the free community so even if people don't buy from me hopefully i've dropped a bit of value for those who connect to my frequency and my message and that's what i'm all about i just give as much away for free as i possibly can i i because I believe in building that connection and also I understand that not everybody has money it's the truth and anybody who tries to think otherwise is lying to themselves because you just got to look at the financial statistics of, of the nation people do have money now but it's not their own money um, and you should be responsible about how you're using that to fuel their growth and you've got to deliver a return on that investment if you are taking people's money which is actually debt a lot of the time so that's my my own belief and then ultimately in building connection trust and just giving as much away for free up front i want people to get results and many wins to then hopefully say all oh, right that worked i want to come back to that now i want to engage with matt maybe pick up the phone have a conversation or reach out to him see if i can be a part of something that he's building this year now you know what there are so many so many things that just like even if we didn't say they 
happen during a conversation that is called i one is uh, you're really clear on your tribe you're really clear on your tribe really clear on the people that you want to serve on creating this uh, niche community of upgraded investors they're not just investors they're not just it's not just a, a property group or a financial investment group this is everyone there is someone who's a seeker someone who's a seeker for truth someone who, who wants to create a better word and you know some, some a lot of time the word investor or um uh, people that works in the financial system it's very difficult to associate that with making changes positive changes and creating a better society yeah particularly if you're looking at the big firms and or investors that the idea is just like put money to get return money return so it's all about money and what i love about you is that you are creating a community of people that they say okay uh, let's use this tool of money to create more for everyone and there is a, is is a very particular person that believes that and that's yeah. what you're being so clear in attracting and then as we said like creating the loan strategy making yourself making people aware and making yourself credible in your field and then going into okay how can i blow everyone away and serve everyone the best way i can uh and this is a master class in in creating communities that are not just communities but a movement so yeah. i'm uh, every time i'm talking to you I'm, I'm always more impressed i'm like <laughs> thanks man it's been a pleasure working together because this is why we work together simone is because you share the same values as i do yeah and and the power of you know your community as well is that you've got that collective that really believes in your message and believes in your heart and they see that because it's true and you can't ever fake truth because the truth is really a vibrational energy and it becomes that match with people True. you know so that's that's the way that i look at it is if we've got a good heart and we truly want to serve as i know that you do and i know that i do and i know that we do together is you start to attract the right people towards you and mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about competition because competition really doesn't exist when you're connected to your authentic truth that's the way that i see it and for for all of us i just wish on anybody watching this is that you can go out and find your own truth your own purpose to be lit up every single day because i remember going through years in the city of london with a bunch of people wearing suits who had forgotten who they were they'd forgotten how they were born to be on this planet and to be grateful every day to be inspired to live into their potential and i was always walking through the city and i was just like you know i wonder if i could just wake these people up someday what could i do how, imagine how many lives they could impact imagine the ripple effect that we could create if we live into our potential and so that's the thing for me is i just want to create a ripple effect that for the long term will create an ecosystem of prosperity so that we all win we all gain significantly abundant amounts of wealth in all different areas of our life and that's really what the upgraded life community is all about and in terms of the mastermind and the level of you know the levels at which people are playing at in terms of businesses that they're building i mean you've got the likes of jess and jordan who are seeking yeah. to secure 100 plus units this year in property you know you've got eddie who's doing multiple 10 million pound plus developments uh, you know you've got people who are established entrepreneurs and real estate investors and i could mention everybody in the group everybody's up to something big uh, incredible group so if someone wants to know more about the work that you do or wants uh, to join the group uh, or simply follow you on different social media platform or uh, what's the best way to reach out to you uh, thanks simone i think well best i am i'm on instagram and i'm on facebook on my facebook page at upgraded investor i recommend if you message me on instagram that's the easiest way to get my attention just because i'm you know i get the messages quite easily there you live on instagram yeah exactly <laughs> I'm constantly engaged. It, engaged so just reach out to me or and i'd love to just get people to you know join the free community that i've got experience some of those 50 videos the business oxygen sessions that i've put together and also i'm going to be launching uh, another live event for free uh, for the last time before they start to become paid events I did one earlier this month and it got amazing reception from people and people have been asking me for the replay. Unfortunately, there is no public replay available of that event. So I'm going to be putting on That's another one. Event. Yeah, exactly. Live events online for people to tune into uh, within the next few days to really assess how we can have a financial comeback through these times. Because I'll be honest with you, like there's so much 
disruption around the world of finance, business, and money right now that if, we, if we're not ready and we can't see around the corners for where things are going because yeah. the news media and social media is clouding our judgment, I just fear for how a lot of us are going to get hurt in, in the coming months. So, and, you know, next few years ahead, it's going to be tough. So let's really rise up and predict our way through these these times by getting the conversation going, you know. Man, I love this. So make sure you get in touch with Matt, get a link uh, for his next online training or his next online event. Um, I can I can vouch for him. I've seen him many times deliver his content and he's always on point. As I mentioned, I, I was really baffled when like what he said a year ago in the Alan Sugar event. That's what's happening right now. <laughs> As I, <laughs> uh, uh, okay. <laughs> so make sure you, you you listen to Matt. And um, if you are an investor uh, and you care about creating more wealth for everyone and not just for yourself, then uh, uh, make sure you check out also the the Upgraded Life community and the Upgraded Life Mastermind because. It is, uh, it is an incredible place. Thanks so much, Simone. Uh, I just want the wealth piece as well, because yeah. I just need to quickly say this, because wealth, a lot of people think, is that all about money? Is it only about money? And I say, well, wealth is actually everything that you're left with once you lose all your belongings, including money. That's oh. what your wealth is. Your wealth is what you're putting out into the universe to create prosperity beyond yourself. And that's really what I want us to think about in terms of reframing what wealth really is. And yes, Money is a vital component of expanding our wealth, but the wealth is about what we do with the money when we have it. Yeah, that's the key. That that's a big difference. That's a massive difference. So, Matt, we we need to wrap up right now. Um, this is the last question that I ask all my guests, uh, our clients that are coming on this case study show, uh, which is uh, uh, to complete the sentence because of GTEx with uh, something that feels true to you, which is natural to you. So, over to you, man. Yeah, so for me, because of GTEx, we have accelerated our transition to an upgraded life. And that is my purpose. That is my mission here on planet Earth. And I feel like us coming together, we've been a driving force behind accelerating that growth. So thanks for being a part of the journey, Simone. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. And I've loved every minute of us working together as well the past year or so. All right, man. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And it's a pleasure for me to be part of this journey. Uh, everyone that, that is watching right now, if you are interested about becoming a client, working together, different programs that we have, there is a link uh, which you can see here on the screen or you can see in the comments or in the show notes if you're listening to the, to the replay, which is a gtex.events forward slash call. So gtex.events forward slash call. Let's have a chat. Let's see how we can work together. Matt, thank you very much once again. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks so much, Simone. It's been awesome. All right. Bye, everyone. Ciao. See ya.